Hey, hey, welcome back to another video. Today's gonna be a little bit different than our usual Life by You video because they dropped a 27 minute pre recorded video of Rod Humble playing a day in the life of a character in Life by You. So I'm just gonna like summarize it and show anything like notable and of importance that I feel like is a new feature or things that we may have missed uh, previously or they haven't really talked about. It is very interesting to see someone actually playing the game from like one full 24 hours. So uh, sit back, relax, hang out with us while I recap this for you guys. Hello everyone, my name is Rod Humble. For the past few years, every week I've made a video internally with colleagues, just me playing the game. They were like 10, 20 minutes. Um, and this week I figured I would share one with you. So Rod Humble is Paradox General Manager. He is also someone that worked on Sims 2 and Sims 3, so he has a lot of experience in this field. Very, very cool to see his expertise coming to this new game. Uh, he did also work on Second Life, apparently, after he left the Sims franchise uh, year, years ago, right? So here we're getting an overview of the lots and kind of what the world looks like. He did mention that the beach side lots are more expensive and the more cheaper lots are inland. And I think that is really cool to just kind of see the world. It does give me Sims 3 vibes very much. And that makes me happy. I am okay with that. So now he's actually showing us the full length of the loading time, which is a little bit long, but he even mentions that because it is an open world game, it does make sense that there will be a decent amount of loading, but it is something they're working to improve and make better. Let's, let's walk you through the current intro quest. And here he goes on to show us the intro quest and what you can do there. All you need to do is open the package and you get a few goodies. You get some seeds. There's a few objects in there that are just like, hey, welcome to your new home. Use these, do whatever you want with them. It's kind of fun. Let's take that. And let's do some gardening. So here we're going to watch him do a little bit of gardening, nothing too groundbreaking. And it seems like one of those things that you can grow um, actual flowers, which is kind of cool. Oh, and then here you can see the delivery driver arriving with daily groceries, which is also something that you can set up, which I think is really cool to have in this game where you're able to like order your groceries and then they just like kind of come every day. So you're never going to run out. And here they kind of show off um, how you can kind of check in and see if your neighbors are home and see what they're up to. It looks like you can't see directly inside until you like hover over the build and then it puts a little like label that tells you whose house it is and if anyone's there. So we're getting a little overview of the world and kind of like showing where you are and how you can kind of like zoom out fully and kind of move to whatever location you want and send your character there from that uh, top-down world now. Now the character is off to go have some brunch. And also one thing that I thought was really cool was there is alcohol in the game and they had mentioned right here that if you had drank any alcohol there's a debuff or a thing that happens so then you're unable to drive your car for a certain amount of time after having alcohol and I think that's just really cool that they've added that like realistic type of feature. They arrive at this restaurant and you order from the crash register it looks like and then you can pick your drinks, you can pick your food, and then you go and sit down and start eating. You don't have to buy a pack to get restaurants. That's cool. <laughs> they have a lot of variety of alcohol. I'm actually surprised at the amount of options. And it doesn't look like there's like people that serve you. It's kind of like a self-serve thing as of right now at least. And it looks like there is a note that they are working on the lighting so that the lighting looks a little bit like harsh. And that's totally fine. We know this is like super still early in development. We're going to see a lot of parts of this game that are not finished. Then we actually get to see a tour bus. Apparently tour bus will bring people from two bus stops within this world, one on the beach and one further inland. I guess it just makes the world feel alive, like you have people traveling, they're going to the beach and, you know, being tourists, I don't know. And it looks like tourists will stay in the hotel, I guess. And actually I didn't catch that the first time watching this, but he said that you can create your own hotels 
and kind of like put them wherever you want, do whatever you want. So you can build your own hotel lots and tourists will come to those areas specifically, I think. And after that fabulous pad thai, they are now going to try to make some friends with uh, people in the area. They go to talk to this person and introduce themselves. And we get to see a little bit more of the conversation tools. And also the notifications popping up on the right side. It's like the social feed and kind of just shows you, you became acquaintances with this person and all that. And also they show us a close up of the social window, but the UI is still being worked on. And it looks like they're going to show us more of this window later once it gets actually reskinned properly. But it's neat to be able to get a close up of that right now as it is because I think it gives a lot of context and detail about each uh, character. Then we get another look at the ease of turning on the conversation camera if you want to for, you know, dialogue, for storytelling. You can be more close up. You're still able to follow along the dialogue and have those options uh, either way that you're conversing with another character. I thought this was kind of cool too because you could see the possibility outcomes of a certain conversation. So if you want to be sure that you're conversing properly and it, how successful you might be able to be, you can uh, check by the percentages next to each conversation choice. And again, we've seen this before, but you are able to edit the text for any of these dialogue options if you want it to sound more natural for your story or whatever. I think that is a really neat feature that they have added and I think it's something that is going to be really great for creating your own stories and telling your own stories and great for recording videos. And as they wrap up their conversation it looks like there is something called quests in this game where you're able to, you know, have tasks to do and learn the basics of the game while having like a direction so you're not just aimlessly figuring out how to uh, play this game. And if you send your sim to go home, they're gonna automatically start walking home. And if you brought a car, you definitely uh, don't want to do that because then you'll leave your car wherever. So you want to make sure that you click on the car itself and tell your sim to go home via the car. I wonder if there's gonna be a better option for that later. I think it's cool to have that realism of like trying to remember where you parked your car and have to bring it with you and you're not just randomly being teleported all around. And I think it's funny how the character like runs through the car and the car kind of like floats and awkwardly turns around and then cuts the corner of the sidewalk. <laughs> I'm sure that's all going to be improved. It's just it's just funny to see right now. And I've sped this up to 200% just to kind of show you guys the drive back home and look at this really pretty bridge that goes over the water and then they just make their way back to their home without any loading screens it's magical and here we are being shown how placing the laptop from your inventory works and they also noted that chairs aren't working with laptops right now very well and that's okay I mean it's still functional but definitely probably something that they're going to be adding is the ability to sit and be on your laptop. And then it looks like you are just able to click shop online and a bunch of stuff will pop up. It looks like you can pick from certain websites to order from based on the different style or the different types of stuff that you need. And there's everything from seeds to furniture and everything in between. It looks like there's some really great decor pieces that you can buy directly from the shop. I like that. I think that's a more fluid way than just going into build mode and, and buying items. I think it's cool that we are able to purchase a, a furniture directly from an online store and have it kind of delivered. And then we get to see a little bit of cooking, which is cool because you actually need the ingredients to cook everything, which I know we have that kind of now with Simple Living from Cottage Living, but it's not quite the same where you have to buy your ingredients, get the groceries delivered. It's all in the base game of Life by You. Now we get to watch her eat. And also, I think something interesting to note is that you are able to move the objects pretty easily while you're just like doing other stuff. If there's something in the way you can see with like the green and the red footprints and where the positioning should go for objects and where things are going to get blocked. In The Sims and other games, you don't usually have that notification. So very good to see. 
So the last few things that we're going to see them do is do dishes, shower, and do laundry, which is also a base game feature. And I think they mentioned here that the sensor bar for the nudity can be disabled. So I don't know. I mean, I know this game wants to give you the freedom to do things the way you want. Um, but probably don't record videos without it being on because, you know, YouTube might not like that. But if you're just playing on your own time, do what you want. I won't judge. Oh, and here, I guess I didn't really notice, but they didn't have volume for this entire video because they're adding new sound effects and ambient noises. So they just like left it muted because it's completely being redone, I guess. And here's just a little bit visual of the laundry getting packed up into her inventory, it looks like. And then you select the machine and it goes into the laundry machine. It's interesting they have the option to watch the laundry go round. I wonder if that makes your fun go up. And then we see the second delivery person come with the seeds that they had uh, placed an order for. And you'll see the package on the front patio, back patio? I'm not sure. Is that the back door? Whatever. Either way, that is where you open your package. I like seeing them actually interacting with things. I think it's a pretty good animation and it seems like they bought a lot of apple seeds, almost too many. And here's another really cool thing that they showed us that you can knit. There's wool and knitting um, needles in your inventory. I guess you probably have to buy them or something, but nifty knitting in base game? Yes, please. <laughs> That's amazing. And I hope you're able to wear the clothing that you create as well. I'm sure you will. And after a short bit, you see the socks kind of show up and pop into her inventory. And then also a notification in the top right, they have knit something and completed something. And now we're winding down by sending our character to bed. And it looks like you do get something really neat at the end of every day or whenever you actually go to sleep. You get a pop-up that tells you a list of everything you've done in that day. Like your earnings, how much you've spent, what your bank balance is, what level you got in certain skills, and if people like you or not. I really like that addition to kind of like wrap up each day so you can kind of look back. And if you want to remember what exactly happened, it's going to be very helpful for me if I do Let's Plays out of this game and stuff. I think it'll just make things easier to keep track, right? It seems like there's a lot of tracking tools in this game. And I think that's about it for this video. If you guys like learning about Life by You, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and uh, click that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next one. I try to get a video up every week if they drop a video, and sometimes we go over the tweets, but this week was a little bit different where they dropped a really long video, so I wanted to kind of summarize it for you guys. And I hope it was informative enough, and we saw some really cool new features, and I'm really excited to play this game in September. It's coming up, it's coming up. Everyone have a wonderful day, and I will see you guys in the next one very soon. Bye.